Hey, what's up guys? Rules for Rebels here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom YouTube thumbnails uh, using TubeBuddy. So uh, first off, what is a YouTube thumbnail? A YouTube thumbnail is basically what you see uh, when you search YouTube videos. It's that preview screen um, and it gives you an indication of what the video is going to be about. Now obviously when you're searching for videos, somebody basically has a couple of ways to draw you in and get you to watch their video. One is the title and two is the thumbnail or the picture. So if it's just some grainy picture from um, your video, like this one right here, um, it's not really not very enticing. Uh, when you got text and icons and all types of other garbage on the screen, it tends to make you want to uh, want to go into the video. I, I saw another funny video where somebody was basically talking about how to make um, custom thumbnails, and they were they were sort of joking but somewhat serious. They were like. Just throw a bunch of like arrows and circles and shit all over the place, and uh, it really makes people want to click the video. And it and I don't I don't know how effective that is, but it, it is true that videos with nice custom thumbnails tend to get draw people in more and get more views. So anyhow, TubeBuddy guys, I'm surprised I've been sleeping on this program. Typically, I'm pretty good about finding programs that automate various processes. So I'm thinking things like IFTTT. Hootsuite, Twuffer, Future Tweets, you know, things that make your life easier in terms of all the different social media posting activities you need to do. For whatever reason, even though I've been getting very into YouTube lately, um, I've been sleeping on this program. So this, uh, I actually saw this mentioned by Tim Schmoyer and that other guy who makes YouTube videos. And then somebody who watches my videos who I actually chat with quite frequently. I'm, I feel kind of bad, I can't remember the name, but uh, had mentioned that he uses this for his YouTube channel. So I was like, I gotta give this a try. Uh, rather than doing the free version, I just decided to go for the legend right up front because, you know, YouTube is something I'm, I'm really into these days. Um, so that's what it is. Uh, we're going to go over here. There's all types of, of tools that are going to make my life a lot easier. One, it basically sorts comments you haven't responded to from comments you have responded to. So normally, I'll have to pull up all my comments, which is like thousands of them, and I'll literally have to scroll down and look for things that I haven't responded to because I try to respond to every single comment. Um, with this, it'll show me just the ones that I haven't responded to. Uh, they have a best practices audit where you can basically choose any video and run a thing. And it'll tell you, like, do you have all the best uh, long tail keywords that you could possibly have? They'll suggest keywords. And with just one click, you can add uh, additional long tail keywords to your video and, uh, and save it. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to use the custom thumbnail tubes, a uh, custom thumbnail tool. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking out TubeBuddy, uh, TubeBuddy, dot com backslash rules for rebels i'll link to it in the description box below um but yeah basically i wanted to sh okay one other thing i wanted to say there's a lot of people who've made videos on tubebuddy and they go through like all hundred features at tubebuddy actually they probably have more tools than that but they go through every tubebuddy tool and i find it kind of overwhelming so i'm going to be start making some videos tackling uh the various tools uh one at a time so right now we're going to uh make a custom thumbnail for this video which is earn seven to thirty dollars per sale with this affiliate marketing hustle. So uh, what we're going to do here, TubeBuddy lays it's a Chrome browser extension, so it, it's right in your YouTube. Uh, we're going to click that. Uh, it can also pick a winner of contests. Uh, I'm actually going to be giving away ten copies of Alex Becker's Ten Pillars of Wealth, and I may try to give away a couple more things before Christmas here, uh, just to say thank you to all you guys for following and watching and being involved in everything. Oh, you can also create animated gifts to tweet out. Uh, but what we're going to be doing here is using the YouTube thumbnail generator. So we'll click the thumbnail generator and we can basically use, we can either use a still frame from the video, a solid color, or if we want to upload a, a totally different image, we can do that. So I'm going to click still frame. Um, I like the one where I had my hands open there. So once we pause the video sort of near where we want, we can go back. And the reason that you want to use this tool is so that you can pick a frame that's like not blurry or when your eyes aren't closed. Um, So we'll, it's not a great image, guys, but we'll just pick that one just for the sake of getting this done. So um, we got that. We're going to add an image. So we'll do, I'm sorry, we're going to add text. Uh, make 7 to 30 per sale. Affiliate marketing G pens. Um, and we're going to outline it in white. We're going to do uh, Sigmar 1 as a font. So let's add it and see what it looks like. Okay, it's a little bit too big, so we're going to take it down to medium. Center that a little bit. Outline it in white. Make 7 to 30 per sale affiliate marketing G-pens, right? 
Uh, and if we wanted to, we could add like a shape or something like that. Um, the drag, I don't know how this works. Oh. Why am I throwing a star up on here? <laughs> I actually watched a funny video that somebody made talking about like how to do thumbnails and somebody who was sort of jokingly, but sort of serious, they were like, just throw a bunch of like stars and arrows and circles and shit all over the place. And it really makes people want to click. So we'll, we'll throw a big red star uh, on me and see if that makes people want to, uh, want to click it. Um, okay, so we're just going to click continue. Um, I know this isn't a great thumbnail, guys. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how this is done. Um, and then we'll click save and publish. Are you sure you want to publish this thumbnail? Okay. Going to take a second here. Okay, and the thumbnail is published. So if I wanted to download the thumbnail to like reuse on Instagram or something like that, I could do as well. Uh, but we're just going to call it a day. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, just to give you kind of an idea of, okay, here, I'll show you guys the best practices thing real, really, really quickly here. Uh, best practices, add a video. Um, why Amazon reviews suck. So this is a different video. They're checking my titles, they're checking my tags, they're checking my cards. Checking my captions, checking my annotations. And then they're going to list, you know, I, I can set an upload checklist to make sure I do certain things every time. They're telling me that I'm missing cards. Um, the title length is an issue. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if they want a longer title. Um, and then I, I don't have it in any playlist. So let's see what opportunities they found for me. I have comments awaiting that I need to answer. Um, social mentions um, and suggested tags uh, available. And okay, so the tags aren't available yet. I guess it's going to be in a day and eight hours. I'll be able to get the tags. I think they have to wait for some analytics to upload. Uh, but yeah, basically, I mean, if I wanted to, okay, comments awaiting. Let's see what comments are awaiting. Uh, we can go to my comments page. And here's one other thing that I like. I can sort by comments that I have not responded to. And the reason why this is good is because I try to respond to every comment. So if I have to go through some, you know, sometimes I respond to, to stuff and I miss others. So literally, I will go through here and scroll through and look for every comment that I haven't responded to and try to respond back to it. Well, with this tool, I can now click comments I have not responded to. And all I have to look at is the stuff that I've yet to respond to. So uh, a lot of cool stuff that you guys can do with this uh, Chrome browser add on. Like I said, there's a free version. There's also upgraded versions. I sub subscribe to the Legend, I think I'm going to give it a try for a month. I'm thinking probably I'm most likely going to drop down to the star plan, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So as I discover more of these tools, guys, I'll, I'll continue making some more videos. Uh, but I thought the thumbnail creator was pretty cool. Maybe I'll make a side by side video showing how I make thumbnails in Canva as well as how I make thumbnails in TubeBuddy. And you guys kind of can decide for yourselves which one makes a better thumbnail and which one seems easier. I'll be hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Uh, check back for more videos and we will talk to you guys soon.